In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own blog network in minutes. Now, for those that don't know what a blog network is, this is a way for you to get ranked in Google for anything you want, anytime you want, with a few clicks of a button. We use our own blog network that we help rank our clients, but very recently, Google released a new filter that would target networks like ours, which meant we had to figure out a new way to do these networks and the only thing we can think of is to give you the control so there is no patterns of one party doing all of the links through the different networks it will be scattered all over the place so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how that will be done now first let me answer the question for you why build your own network well would you like 10 or a hundred or a thousand extra websites sending you back traffic to your main website? How about 10 or a hundred or a thousand of high quality relevant links pointing to your website? This can automatically rank your website free of charge after you set the network up. And you can also use this blog network to rank your other websites or if you start a new website, you can easily rank that one yourself what would it look like? It would consist of multiple blogs with templates that look like an e-commerce website. The blogs can be anything from Blogger, which is Google's blog service, WordPress, Tumblr, Typepad, and there's a few others. All of them are free, which means once you create a blog, it's free for you to have content on it. The content on the blog will be syndicated from your store into the blog automatically without any interaction on your side. You can choose the products or articles or both from your store and that content will be syndicated to those blogs for you. Each blog will focus on ranking for a specific word in Google. So for example, you would have wheelandtirepackages.blogspot.com which is trying to rank for the word wheel and tire packages. Each block will have 10 different anchor texts that will include a part number, a product title, application lists, and all of these anchor texts are going to be linking back to your website accordingly. Some will be going to your home page, some will be going to your product page, some will be going back to your article. So your content from your store will be syndicated to these blogs and then there will be links created automatically for you on those blogs sending traffic back to your website. You can also have all your products automatically posted on Facebook and Twitter every single hour. All your product photos can get posted on Flickr, Picasso, and Photobucket automatically for you and linked back to your store every hour. Tell me this is not cool. This is a genius idea you're piggybacking off of somebody else's website which allows you to create a free account to send traffic back to your website with relevant keywords. Now this is how it would work. Here is a chart that I've built for you. You have Shopping Cart Elite which is your back office that holds all of this content. This is the product content itself so it could be your articles or the products and typically it gets posted on your website. But now we built a new tool called automatic blog poster which takes your content and schedules a post to all of these different networks and because that post will include links back to your website all of these different blogs and all of these different networks will be pointing back to your website helping you not only rank it but because these articles will be ranked themselves they will also send back traffic to you. So instead of building backlinks to your website in massive quantities where we have restrictions on how many links we can do and how many keywords we can rank for, now we can rank for unlimited amount of keywords because every single blog is targeting for its own keyword. You see, typically by ranking for one keyword or even five keywords, your website will have just enough traffic to see some kind of activity, but really not enough to have a stable business. You really need to reach a minimum of 10,000 unique visitors per month regardless what industry you're in. If you're below 10,000, you're probably not doing very well. 
So if each one of these blogs can be responsible for even 500 or 1,000 extra unique visitors, just do the math. How many blogs do you need to rank and really get up there for competitive keywords in order to get to 10,000 where you're going to get stable orders coming in every single day? This is a very, very powerful tool, and it will truly give you the edge to beat your competition and really get your business off of the ground. Now, let me show you some proof on why I know this works for many different reasons. First, I wanted to just review what I went over. You can use the automatic blog poster to schedule the posts to any blog that we're going to support. Blogger, WordPress, Tumblr is just a few of them. Then you can reuse the same product content or article content to automatically post to multiple blogs, giving you the ability to create hundreds of content-rich blogs within minutes that will send you relevant links back to your website. So it doesn't mean that you need to have a unique content for every blog. You can have the same content for every blog. As long as there's content, as long as it's being renewed, which the scheduler will achieve that, you'll be fine. Now, how does it work? I explained. But does it work is a different question. You don't have to take my word for it because I'm going to show you examples of it working. There is a multi-million dollar auto parts leader that uses a strategy. You can visit their website, autoanything.wordpress.com, and see exactly what I'm talking about on how their blog is structured. Now, if this company does it for themselves, like I said, you don't have to take my word for it that it works because they would not be doing it on an active basis if it wasn't working. Then you can see two Amazon affiliate sites using the same technique. Now, the Amazon affiliate example scrapes content from Amazon, posts it on the blog, and sends traffic back to Amazon. An auto anything example is content manually copied by the auto anything staff to send traffic back to auto anything. What Shopping Cart Elite offers with this tool is a hybrid of what Auto Anything is doing manually, except it will take your existing store content and automatically post it on your blog instead of doing it manually. So why send traffic back to Amazon when you can send it back to your own website? By simply centralizing your content in Shopping Cart Elite, you can sync any blog with that content as many times as you want. This is very similar to how we submit product content to Google Shopping or eBay or Amazon, except now you have new cross-channel promotions using these blogs where you can sync that content automatically to these different blog networks. Now, how do we come up with this? Well, first, we monitor our competitors and our customers' competitors all the time using Majestic SEO to see if we can find patterns. And we noticed a very popular trend of third-party blog services being used to create blog networks that link back to the main website. By checking the referring domains of any top five websites that compete for a very competitive rich keyword, you will find that 70% of the time the third-party blog service has been used. Another reason this works is if you compare an industry that has a very hard time ranking for anything, you will also notice that third-party blog networks are heavily used. Example, if I googled for the word Viagra, who in the world would want a link exchange with a website selling Viagra? Then a screenshot shows a referring domain names, and in the priority, based on their authority and amount of one-way links, you can see that the number six most linked website to the Viagra website was Blogspot, Angel Fire, then we have GeoCities, we have Homestead, and WordPress, and all of these websites are free block services that were ranked and now being used to pass authority to this Viagra website that nobody wants to link to. Why did we develop this now and not before? Well, number one, we're constantly doing something and the development time for this project is tremendous. After we spec'd it out, it wasn't as big as we thought, but still there is work that needs to be done and we're constantly on top of different projects. So for us to focus on everything is impossible. Plus, we didn't have enough time to put the pieces of the puzzle together to really see how this whole thing can come together. And we didn't have the research and case studies that we have today on how others are doing it for themselves. And finally, we got cornered in by Google with their announcement of the over-optimization penalty. What's an over-optimization penalty? 
It's a filter that targets backlinks to new domains. And because a lot of times our clients are new businesses that need SEO done, it becomes impossible to do the backlinks for them because of this filter. The filter specifically targets unreal spikes of new backlinks to new domains. So if you don't have a new domain, you're not as affected as much, even though we don't know what role the filter will play for existing domains. But for new domains, it becomes completely impossible. We think Google did this because they want to get paid for the traffic they're sending to businesses through pay-per-click AdWords, and they want you to go and pay for it. So they keep disrupting the organic network, so there is no easy way to just rank organically. They claim that it's because of content, but just knowing Google for the past 10 years, it was never about content. It's always about money. It's always about them trying to destabilize the free network to try to profit from it. So that's fine. You know, we think that it was time to press the reset button anyway because the playing field was getting way too overcrowded with a ton of backlinks and easy ranking. So we are looking forward to how that filter will play a role with the rankings and how our clients will rank with this new Google filter in place. But even if the blog doesn't rank itself, because don't forget, we still need to do backlinks into the blog, right? And... There is a risk, even though it's a very small risk in the short term, but long term, maybe they will say, well, we need to also pay attention to our own blog network to make sure that these spikes don't happen. Even if they say that, keep in mind that these blogs are sending relevant links with good anchor text keywords back to your site. So in a worst case scenario, you still end up ranking for the words you want to rank for because of these blogs. That's long term, but short term, Google is not paying attention to the subdomain, which means you're piggybacking off of the blog's main domain authority. So Blogspot has like 200 million links, and if you do 5,000 links to help you rank that blog, they're going to just get saturated with the other 200 million that they already have, and they're not going to penalize anything because it's an old domain, and they're not focusing on the subdomain. They're focusing on the main domain. This penalty is for the main domain, not the subdomain. Bottom line is, both short-term and long-term, you will benefit from building this network. If you want to learn more details on how the over-optimization penalty works, I included two links that you can check out and read more about it. Now, you still would need to hire us to do the backlinks to your blog network because your blogs are not just going to rank because you have a great keyword in them and some content. You still need links, but you don't need even close as many as you used to for very competitive keywords. So instead of paying, let's say, $500 to $1,000 to rank for a word, now you can pay $200 to rank for the same word using the blog. And the blog happens to send a ton of links that are relevant back to your site, and you own that blog, which means you can actually create more backlinks for other words. So long term, you're investing into your own SEO network because as soon as you create 50 to 100 blogs or maybe even a little bit more, you don't have to pay for SEO ever again because you can keep returning back to your own blogs to put your own backlinks and rank not only your existing company website, but if you start new websites, you can literally get them on the first page of Google yourself in no time. You pay once for authority to your blog network that you're about to start, and you will never pay again to that specific blog because you can reuse your own network in the future for more ranking. So let's do this. Check out the tutorial on how to start building the blog. Start building it today with Shopping Cardelite.